Bedrock, come to the dark side. Greetings, everyone. Lord Von Wolf coming at you. And what I'm doing right here is I am doing a play along with uh, Prowl and Blue Jay with uh, Bedrock Edition Windows 10. They uh, are working on solo worlds, but together. And they invited people to play along with them and see what the differences are between what they have done. And I have decided to take up that challenge. And this is the area for which Prowl has decided to start his world in. Now, mind you, I'm about a month behind them all right, at, as of this recording. Uh, so I, one of the first things I did that was different is I raided the village. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I wasn't going to pass that up. Now, the area that he has here is actually fairly nice. I mean, you look around, and we got a nice flower biome right there. So, plenty of flowers and dyes that we can play with. We've got some sheep and stuff around. And he's got these little water holes and stuff that he originally had, plus some, some holes here. And this is Prowl's area. Now, i got to go and get to Blue Jay's area and set that section up. And here we are over at Blue Jay's area and set up a little temporary section here. Let's get uh, about right there. All right, so we now have both Prowl's uh, base location, which is over that way. We now have Blue Jay's base, which is located right here. And I've gone through three nights already, haven't slept through all three nights. Um, I did kill one of the uh, mobs in the village. Uh, probably going be mad at me for doing that. Because <laughs> later on I probably could heal those guys. But hey, you know, he got my way. Actually, I should killed two guys because they tried to attack me. And I was stealing their stuff. So, hey, tip for that. Anyway, um, so we have these two locations. I have, what was that, going through three nights already. And, um... Like I said, a lot of the stuff you see right here, I stole from the village. So that's one change already. Um, I'm not restricted by the not use clause that they chose to use, and I decided to take that. So now, let's see what can I do with the rest of this world as they have it versus to what I'm going to do with it. Nice clean area. Let's get Minecrafting. All right, everybody. Since the introduction, uh, six days has now officially passed. I divided it up so that in this week, I spent three days in Prowl's area and then three days in Blue Jay's area to try to catch up to them. Now, as of recording this section of the video, I am about six weeks behind them at this time. So let's see what we've got going on. Okay. Right now we're back over in Prowl's area. Uh, if you remember correctly, I initially set it up a little base area, kind of like right in here and stuff like that. Uh, down in here is nothing more than my, my quarry for stone work. So as you can see, I'm just digging out stone work. So there's nothing really special down there. And this is the farm area that I have come up with. Now, I still got a lot of terraforming. Most of this is still not technically 100% done. All right, because I still have other things I need to get done in these areas. But this is the farm area design that I came up with. Let's take a walk around it a little bit better. Okay. And let's go inside. Oh, here's my, here's my little gateway. You know what, I can probably take that off there so you can see a little better. How about I take that out of there too? No, that's probably not a good idea. Let's take that out, switch over. Okay, so here's the farm setup. I essentially kind of went with almost the same type of look, or design, I should say, not necessarily look, but design that, that Prowl did, with keeping the water holes and putting up uh, like a fencing around it, and of course, putting in, boom. I'll have to fix that. And there are fish in here. There, there's one of them right there. So, but what I did was, 
you know, there's this huge pile of dirt and stuff was like right here. And to me, it, it you know, say like it rains or something like that. It, it just didn't seem right that there wouldn't be something there to hold that back from destroying this garden here. So I put up this cobblestone type wall that's supported by, of course, these wooden uh, beams like. All right, and then pretty much everything you can think of is in here. I got the berries. I got a couple flowers. I have to move over some bees. I got to bring them. Get some bees over here for these uh, bees nests. Sugar cane, you know, and the whole normal works and stuff like that. Uh, and I got some decoration in here. A cauldron, a couple barrels. Uh, of course, I got the lilies in, in the water. Make some nice direct uh, decoration. I've got uh, kelp growing inside here so that you can farm up kelp as well. And then over here, I got a with a simple little wheelbarrow type design so that's you know pretty much the concept that I came up with for the farm garden area all right now I didn't couldn't get to his house design just quite yet or, or at least what I'm gonna be doing for it which is, will be over there but this is the um, starting area that he had come up with uh, it's a little bit bigger <laughs> but it's okay so we come on here on to the inside let's close the door so another comes in here and you know it's not too too great it's just got some simple chests and stuff like that and uh, some of the other stuff I managed to find and um, <laughs> that was the horse jumping so you know just I kept it somewhat simple got some hanging shelves kind of like as you can see I defeated two of these guys so uh, okay he's the one making all the noise hop 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 uh, and then over here this is something that he, he didn't actually add yet uh, I don't think he's going to but it's a little campfire type area with a little like something over top of it so and of course you know figure the stonework around to keep the campfire in place and everything like that uh, I got my cats got my dogs now I figured that the idea uh, the theme concept is that the person who lives in this area is more of a farmer type individual uh, so I mean he's got all the flowers uh, I have all of the animal types at the moment that I've been able to find let's go over here this is the this is the temp tree farm. The only tree that is not in this farm is a jungle tree. I haven't found a jungle yet, but when we get over to Blue Jays, I'll explain the butt on that one. So we've got the rabbits. We've got the chickens, the pigs, the cows. We've got the sheep. Now the pink sheep, I made. He didn't. I didn't find him. The brown sheep, I did find him though. Okay. Uh, we got some llamas, and my horses and donkeys are all over here. So I've got a fair amount of the animals around. A couple more. Enderman. A couple more I need to probably grab up if I'm going to. And the I did set up a portal to get over to the nether, and I have an idea about what I'm going to do about that. It's nothing more than just a portal set up. Uh, you're not holding anything, I don't care about it. Uh, which is in that hole there. You'll see what I plan to do with that. So there's one portal set up right now in this pretty much generic area. Okay, so this is the farmer's area, also known as Prowl. Let's go over to Blue Jay. All right, Derby Me almost forgot one thing. There is one other area in this section that I did get to. Okay. Dead. okay, he's dead. This is down here. This is approximately the same area set up where he put his mine shaft. All right, so we go up and down the same way. Not uh, through the tunnel yet, but here is what I came up with. As you can tell, I'm still kind of working on it. This is the smelter area, storage area. This is like the office type area. Alright, then the workstation, 
some more uh, smelters and stuff like that. I actually have an enchanting area down in here. Uh, okay. Fully set up for 30 levels. I have to finish off this section and this section just quite yet. Right into the pillar. And in here is where the mine shaft is itself, where we dug in. Alright, now we can get over to uh, Blue Jays area. And here we are over in Prowl, well, Blue Jays, not Prowls, we left Prowls, over in Blue Jays area. Now I figured that the theme for this guy is more of, um, he's a stone worker basically. So uh, I've got a lot more here to do as well. Uh, since he tore down his first initial starter house, the upside down buried house, I didn't even bother making that one. So I, I uh, to set up a little shop that was over in that little section over there. And I, the, the first thing I really nailed off was this here, which took a little bit. And I'm working on this being incorporated with it. But this is his garden area. This is the farm area that I created for him. And since he's a, you know, a stone guy, I got him up with a nice little stone wall around it and stuff like that. And it's multi-tiered, so it's not just all one plane. So I gave him a little bit more um, character, I guess. I even put a little stream in that comes in from underneath the wall. And we've got the uh, almost all of the stuff that's in here that you normally would see. The only thing that's not in this one that is in that other one, besides the flowers, which you know I'll do something else with, is the berries, which right now I just have temporarily sticking up in the back here so I can collect them until I can get up what I want. And the animals I've been able to get for him are pretty much the basic guys. Now the pink guy and the brown guy, I found those guys. I didn't make the pink one this time. So, uh, Prowl. We got you beat now. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we got, of course, the cows, the pigs. We got the chickens. I haven't gotten the rabbits yet. And we've got uh, some donkeys. I got one horse. I, I, I haven't really spent too much time gathering the animals over on this side just quite yet. But I'll, I'll f catch up to uh, what I have over in the farmer's area. All right. And, of course, then the big job... Actually, under the ground, the second big job is this house design. Uh, now, Blue Jay went with a stone brick uh, combination wood, uh, oak plank uh, wood. So I kept that basic theme, but I went with a much different design, as you can see from here. And as you can see, it still needs a lot of a lot of work. Uh, and then. Um, I have a little extra feature that he didn't put on yet, which I'm still working on. And I got to figure out, I might be changing this roof because I don't think I like it. I don't like the fact that I got that little, those little brown spots sticking out there. And I'm not too happy with this front door yet, so I probably might do something a little bit different. And there's nothing on really on the inside. But here's my little tower section. Now the thing about this is, uh, you'll notice that in the tower section I went with like gates and then the window sections are actually black panes. The reason for that, let's go inside. I mean, as you can see, there's nothing really on the inside done quite yet. All right. But as you can see between the, the gray tone of the brick, the, you know, the light brown texture of the oak logs, and then, of course, he used a birch floor, so I went. I kept it the same thing as a birch floor. It really, really makes it bright in here. So there's no contrasting color, per se, because you have the gray, the brown, and then all of a sudden you have, like, this, this bright type texture, which doesn't contrast. It kind of lightens everything else up. So I went with the black glass to try to get it a little bit of a darker color around. You still see out of it and everything like that. All right. And so all the same thing up here and stuff like that. And, of course, then you have the, the, the white of the roof section. All right. Now, in the tower section, though, I went with my jungle wood. All right. To me, this looks more of like a lightly stained floor, which is probably what I would have used in here to give it a little bit difference of a color as you can see 
it's slightly darker. You know, it, it um, darkens the room as where this brightens the room. So, uh, since this is a huge space, lightening this area may not be the best thing. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. And of course, we'll, up top will be the, the floor up above. So, uh, that's that. Now, the, the big butt that I said on the other side was is I traded with a wandering villager and got jungle wood. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. My uh, throat's getting a little dry. Now, I took a chance. They only had enough emeralds to buy one jungle sapling. I bought it, planted it, and then I got lucky. I was able to farm more and more saplings until, as you can see, I've got four, uh, you know, uh, the, the two by two tall trees. <laughs> Tough doesn't want to work. What else is new? So that's the house. No, let's get underground, shall we? Oh, he, he, I managed to get him one cat so far. Yeah, and I did the thing that he did too. Now this, this is what leads to his mine shaft. Okay, it's in here, and we drop down. Now the cobblestone there. That's meant to be there. All right. So this is probably going to make people mad because people don't like people building with cobblestone. But for this design, this initial entrance tunnel, I wanted to actually keep it with like you know the stonework type that he, he initially went with. And then as he got down here, he was able to um, advance into a, a different stone type. So you know it gradually gets a little bit better stonework, you know, we get into the brickwork and the nice polished work and stuff like that. So this is, this is the reason why I have it set up this way. Uh, this was designed on purpose this way with, you know, reasoning behind it. Now don't mind this section over here. I, I, I got plans for this. I'm still working on it. Uh, okay. And then of course I got my little lava feature here in the floor. Uh, my, my pillars. Now here is his smelter system. Here, okay, storage for him. The temporary bed for right now. I'll, I'm gonna build something down there for it, and this will be all uh, barrels and stuff stacked up. And over here is the actual. Oh, well, let me show you this first. This little water feature. So I've got some fish in here. Nice, nice there. And of course, here's the actual mine shaft area where we go in, and then of course I start mining everything. Uh, I set this up so that we could have some of the cobblestone in here to differentiate uh, between stone and cobblestone. I didn't want anything else in here because he's going to be mining out the other stone types to work with, which is why uh, you only see the stone and cobblestone in here. So when he made a hole, he filled it in using the course the stone the stonework he had. All right, and that is. Pretty much uh, where I'm caught up to them at this point. As you can see, I still have a lot of work to do. Um, but then again, you know, they've been on their world for six weeks now. And I've only been on for uh, approximately a, a single week. And I'm only one person. They're two people. So they're only building one area. I'm building two. All right. So that's... That's this week done, done and dusted. And next, uh, we will continue working on what I can and see what we're going to do. I'm going to split the time. So if I spend, say, like four hours over in the farm area, I'm going to spend four hours over here in the mine area or stone area. We'll call maybe we'll call this the stone area or, you know, whichever, vice versa. So, so the same amount of time is spent in both areas. So both bases get the same amount of build time that they both get now also take in mind that since i'm only a single person there are going to be some resources that are shared diamonds being one of them because you know i'm only one person so there's no reason for me to split up the diamonds and a couple of the other resources that there's no reason to split up so all right guys that's it for now we've gotten into the world we've started building let's see what happens next time you pups take care now bye